Blackie. There. <laughs> that looks swell. Uh-oh. I think the parade's about to store. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let's go, guys. And on with the show. Coming to you from the Walt Disney World Resort in sunny Florida. All the magic of a Disney Easter extravaganza with springtime greetings to America, Canada, Australia, and our servicemen and women in the Persian Gulf and around the world. It's the 1991 Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. With your co-hosts, Good Morning America's Joan London, Drawing Pains' Alan Thick, and Regis Philbin. Join all the fun and excitement of spring break with Howie Mandel at Typhoon Lagoon. Share some springtime magic with the Golden Girls, Betty White, at the Disney MGM Studios theme park. Say hello to Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen from Full House and the whole Disney afternoon gang at Disneyland in California. Join a thrilling patriotic salute to our Operation Desert Storm troops with a special appearance by General Norman Schwarzkopf. Plus, celebrate the happiest Easter anywhere with Mickey, Minnie, and the whole Disney gang. Now, to kick off the parade, let's go down to Main Street, USA, and join the spectacular 500-piece Walt Disney World Honor Band. Joan, Regis, everyone watching at home, we're coming to you from Walt Disney World here in Florida. It's a sunny, beautiful Easter day, and we have a whole basket full of surprises for you. Happy Easter, everybody. I'm Regis Philbin, and Easter egg excitement Hi. is oh, what this parade it. is all he about. Why do I always get your old lines? Because you say them so That's well, right. Regis. So stay right where you are, because we'll be right back in a moment with more Easter egg excitement. She's I can be as corny as him. She's doing it. <laughs> The Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade, brought to you by Johnson & Johnson, where quality products for the American family have been a tradition for generations. And Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Florida, the vacation destination in the middle of Central Florida's biggest attractions. Location is our biggest attraction. John. The Golden Girls' Betty White will be here, along with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen from Full House. Yes, and those karate-chopping teenage <laughs> turtles, and uh, if you think they're mutant, wait till you see <laughs> Howie Mandel. He's here, and Roger Rabbit, and of course, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And don't forget every little girl's favorite, the Little Mermaid. I know my daughters love her, and 101 Dalmatians. Yes, yeah, so many floats, so little time. We better hop to it. All right, let's go down to my favorite man in the street, Regis Philbin. Regis, how you doing? I am here, Joe. Where else would I be on Easter Sunday? Yes, indeed. Hi, Alan. How you doing? Folks have been lining up since early this morning to see this big Easter parade. They always are. We have a regular cast of characters. Now, this big guy...
comes from New Hampshire. He is here for the Christmas Parade, Easter Parade. Make my day with the Disney World Easter Parade, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Yeah. Here's a whole cast. Of, look at this over here. The Oakwood Heights Girl Scouts unit. You've been saving up for the last three years. Three years. And are the kids having a great time? Uh, why don't you go ask them? Well, all right. Thank you very much. Having a good time, gang? Ah, oh, that's terrific. All right. So we're all here. Are we all ready for the parade? Yeah. All right. Very good. Hey, this is great. And right now, I can hear music in the background. Yes, indeed. And that can mean only one thing. Here comes the 1991 Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. Ah, uh, here they come. Right off the bat, Joan, I'm seeing dancing pink hippos and giant ostriches. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep last night. It's there. fantastic, isn't it? Well, it's not exactly fantastic. It's Fantasia, right? Fantasia, right. The hippos and ostriches are from the Disney animated classic Fantasia. That was released in November of 1940. They're kicking off the parade today, the very happy Easter parade. Actually, the ostrich will kick off. The hippo will receive. Look at that Easter bunny. That's what today's all about. Hey, there's Pinocchio. When he told a lie, his nose grew. There's Geppetto, too. Yes, he got caught in the belly of Monstro the Whale. Quiz time here, folks. See how much you remember. I see King Lion out there. Mr. Smee's back there. Robin Hood is back there, and Maid Marian's right behind him. His lady love. Look at that giant chick. Kind of a cute chick, that huh? That is a big chick. And lots of flowers, of course. And look at that beautiful, beautiful shot flowers. up Main Street there. Joan, I don't, I don't know a petunia from an azalea, but they look good and they smell nice, and you can oh, bet now. your begonia spring is here. And there's a lot of flowers. Ah. Now, there's Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. That's my little Sarah right between them. And over on the other side, my Lindsay and Jamie and their little friend, Jenny Tembeck. They get such a kick out of riding in this parade. Oh, Sarah must be in heaven there with Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. <laughs> you know, they get so used to having their own float, you know they're going to need their own car. <laughs> Driving your old Beamer isn't going to work for I can wait for, for that one. <laughs> Well, speaking of bunny rabbits, this is the craziest one of all. Roger Rabbit. Yes. Yeah. Please. I can't, I'm, I'm working on that. I, can't, I don't quite you're have that. You're getting that, you're getting that down. <laughs> and there are some real bunnies up there. Look at those cute little bunnies. The little children dressed as bunny. A whole lot of hopping going on. Well, he can swing and he can move and he can really start to move and he's so hot, 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 hot. That's the in the smoothest. The mean thing is the coolest. Oh, I can tell this is going to be a great Easter parade. It's exciting already. Yes, and the fun has just begun. So, in addition to the parade excitement, we're going to have a spectacular red, white, and blue salute to our armed forces, plus an extra special appearance by Storm and Norman, General uh, Norman Schwarzkopf. Yeah, how did we get him? Hey. Big parade. You stay right where you are. We'll be back in one minute. The 1991 Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. We're having a great Easter. We hope you are, too. We're coming to you from the Magic Kingdom in Florida. On a beautiful day. We've got lots of Easter Parade excitement coming your way, plus a whole lot of surprises. Let's go back to Main Street, USA now and join our Easter Sunday strollers. Ah, the old antique bicycles, a throwback to a kinder, gentler time. That was a pre-freeway period. Joan. That's right. And you know what? That's the Brink family on those bikes, Alan. And they've been part of this Happy Easter Parade for 19 years now, which kind of makes me think they'll be back around during the uh, 20th anniversary, if you can believe it, or mm -hmm. for Walt Disney World That'll next be year. a big celebration, new shows, new parades, new attractions. Well, you don't have to wait for a good time, though. They're having it out here today on a beautiful, beautiful day. That's the uh, town square float there with all the uh, Sunday dancers. Well, yeah, yes. Donald the Donster, the Quackmeister. <laughs> In their Sunday best. I'm home again, 
barber shop. Some of the finest. These are the Dapper Dan. Baseball, and I think I recognize one of those players down there, Alan. Mm -hmm. That's our Easter All-Star, Pluto. Mickey's pet dog. He could be kind of mischievous. This guy looks like he could be a little mischievous, too. <laughs> uh -huh. We have some genuine little leaguers in the parade from Altamont Springs, right here in the Florida neighborhood. Calisthenics. Oh, now this is always a gorgeous float. This is the hat shop float. Mm. You'll really see all the costumes here. Very elegant. Huge hats. How do they keep those? You've got to have a stiff neck after a parade <laughs> like that. But, but I've you seen you dance know. around in a top hat a few times. Well, but what these women are wearing, each of them has a tiny chiropractor in that hat. <laughs> They have balloons there. Uh, what a great way to celebrate Easter here in the Magic Kingdom. All these wonderful Easter outfits, beautiful flowers everywhere you look. It's great. Well, it's a great time of year, too. Springtime in Florida. Many uh, young people come here to celebrate spring That's break, but nobody does it quite like Howie Mandel. <laughs> you check Howie out on spring break over at Typhoon Lagoon, and here's what you'll see. Wow, 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 wow. Hi, I'm Howie Mandel, and it's spring break. What better way to spend spring break than, than sailing? Yeah, except I'm not really good at it. Look what I did. I ended up right here on Typhoon Lagoon. Look at this place. I'm like a 1991 Gilligan's. There's mice and babes and hula hoop and kids and sand. Look, I just buried somebody in the sand. Doesn't it look like she's having a great time? Boy, am I jealous. Ah! <laughs> Ah, the beach. I love to frolic on the beach. Oh, look, a beach ball. Stop! <laughs> Get it? Look at this. The giant wave pool. Ooh. I can feel a giant wave coming on now. Wasn't that neat? Listen, I'm going to keep frolicking and... Dad, Zooks. You people could see what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna head this way. Go. No, wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Somebody own this? You guys ready for the 80-foot drop coming up? Let's go up to you, Howie Mandel. Is this spring break? Is this Typhoon Lagoon? Look! Ah, uh, look at the view from here. It's breathtaking. <gasps> Excuse me? Have you been on the slide yet, or are you just yeah. sweating really bad? No running or horseplay? Kids, come here. How about some running and horseplay? Okay! Come on! Uh, wow. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Howie. It's spring break. I'm at Typhoon Lagoon. I've been shipwrecked. Do you like boats? Yeah. Want to see my boat? Sure. <laughs> Can I bring some friends? Sure. Chris, Terry, Francis. Chris, Terry, and Francis. <laughs> Want to go on Howie's boat? Sure. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. real good, Howie. Well, yeah. I think I'll stay here and sew. Yeah. All right, come on. We'll have a good time. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right.
Don't go away. Next, from Disneyland in California, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen from Full House and the Disney Afternoon Gang. Great. Look, Alan, I've got a few friends with me now. Yes, we, we have 99 more of these right <laughs> over here. <laughs> Lots of spots, huh? These are Dalmatian puppies. And right now, we're going to go down to Main Street where you'll see even more Dalmatians, 101, in fact. Here, want one? <laughs> you know, I can name them all, too. You want to hear me? No, of course you do. <laughs> and down there on the street, there are 101 Dalmatians. If you remember Disney's great animated classic, 101 Dalmatians, it was responsible for giving more dogs their bow than all the other dog movies combined. Oh, boy. And this summer, 101 Dalmatians will be re-released for a whole new generation of kids. Now, I think some are, oh, they're right in the middle. Look at there's yeah. Cruella Del Vil. Cruella. She, she was always trying to catch those lovable little pups and turn be them nice over to, to the dog catcher. Dog. And these Look dogs at are all actually those Dalmatians. Yeah, you know there's a Florida Dalmatian Club, and these dogs are all members. They get together and connect the dots at yes. meetings. Oh, I've never seen so many. Yes. They're so cute. Very exclusive club. A German Shepherd is suing for membership. <laughs> the bullet. Now, who is this right behind there? Colonel Hattie. These are all the guys from Mowgli, right? From the from the Rudyard Kipling Kipling classic yes. Jungle Book. Yeah. Yes, from Jungle Book. There are the monkeys. Remember that story, of course. Mowgli was the boy who was raised by wolves and befriended by Kevin Costner. <laughs> Very good. Book is Disney Air Traffic Control just cleared Mary Poppins for an umbrella drop. The nanny has landed. <laughs> there are the penguins. They're gonna find it a little hot out there, They've aren't they? You've gotta love this weather down here. All right, now, Joan, you vocabulist, you, I know that you've got the one word that can best describe this Easter parade. I knew you'd ask. By any chance, are you thinking that this is a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Easter parade? Bet you can't say it backwards. <laughs> I'll bet you you're right. <laughs> uh, chimney sweeps is a dirty job, but... Someone's got to do it. And it's okay if you have this much fun doing it. Watch these guys. It's a great spectacle here in person. We hope you're enjoying it at home. Lots more fun coming away this Easter Sunday from the Magic Kingdom in Florida. But first, we'd like to introduce you to some folks at Disneyland in California who are celebrating Easter in a very special way. Let's catch the fun with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen from the Full House, along with the Disney Afternoon Gang. Hey, guys. Don't you just love it when school gets out? Yeah! Just in time, we've got a show to do. When I fly my plane and sing, oh yeah, high adventures coming up my way. You better believe the fun will begin, so hang on tight, because we're in a tailspin. Oh yeah, tailspin, oh yeah, tailspin. Friends for life, you dig and with another tailspin. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. All right, you party animals, it's singing time. 
Join in with old Louie. Follow me. Betty White and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. World Happy Easter Parade coming to you from the Magic Kingdom in Florida. What a day, huh? Ooh, what a day it is. Blue skies, temperatures in the high cozies. A great way to spend <laughs> Easter. All right, I'm sure having a lot of fun. We know Regis is having fun over at the Disney MGM Studios. Watch. He gets around. Hi, everybody. I'm here at the Disney MGM Studios checking out all the springtime excitement, especially the new Muppet Vision 3D attraction. Now, this just isn't any old 3D film. We're talking Muppet Vision here, a whole new sensational 3D experience, complete with special effects like wind and rain, bubbles, even cannons firing. Yeah, I said cannons firing. And, of course, all your favorite Muppet pals will be here as well. Hi, gang. How you doing? Hi. Yeah. Who's your favorite Muppet? Kermit, of course. Kermit. Gonzo. 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 Bean Bunny. Gonzo. Does anybody still love poor old Miss Piggy? Yeah. yeah, of course we do. So there you have it. Muppet Vision 3D. Not opening until May, but the people are lining up already. They don't want to miss it. And neither do I. So I'm getting in line, too. Hey, anybody got in the sleeping bag here? Hmm? <laughs> All right, thank you, Regis. And here, from the classic Alice in Wonderland, written by Lewis Carroll, Alice herself. I guess this is kind of a an extra special holiday for White Rabbit. Too. There's oh look at there's Alice up on top of the gigantic mushroom. A giant teapot and a giant lemon standing by. Twiddle Dee and Twiddle Dum, they're down there. They're a happy My lawyers. duo. <laughs> the giant butterflies. Remember how the Queen of Hearts ruled Wonderland? When Alice stumbled across some cards painting some white flowers with red paint, they said, well, the Queen likes red better. That's all. She has flower power. She can change stuff. And there's <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I see there's Tigger. Your, Tigger. Look back there. There's Owl. And there's Kanga. Thanks for noticing me. And of course, Rue. I'm um, Tigger. Of course. T I double glover. That spells Tigger. I love Eeyore. I love his eyes. Here we go again. T F N. He's that good old donkey that never gets noticed, right? The wonderful thing about Tigger. Look at the group of kids. All these kids have so much fun. A float of waving kids. Yeah, they really, really enjoy marching in this parade. The wonderful thing about Tigger that I feel right. Ah. There she is, the fairest of the fair. We are standing by a wishing well. 
I love that song, I'm Wishing. One of the many great songs from the Disney classic. Yeah, you know, actually 25 songs were written for that film, but Disney had to narrow it down. He narrowed it down to eight of them, and they were great. One of them, of course, was Hi Ho, Hi Ho, and there are the guys right there who sang that. Can you name them? That uh, <laughs> could be Sleepy. Sleepy, right, and Grumpy, and Happy. And Begonia? No, no and the Sleazy, flower and Dopey, Sleazy, right. Bashful, and Doc. And there's the prince back there on the his handsome beautiful, prince beautiful white horse. Who kissed Snow White and woke her up. Now here's a change of pace, feel a little countryish. That's the hay wagon. Those big country bears, that's Winder Shakel. Did I say Winder Shakel? I <laughs> meant Wendell, Wendell Shaker. Shaker. <laughs> See, when I talk like that, it all goes wrong on me. Liver lips. lips. Big Al. That's a big horse. He makes that whole wagon shake. There's the cloggers, that's my favorite part. I think Clara Clark's gonna be coming our way pretty soon. The rest There's of the, the clogging little cloggers. Club. Look at those little it's a ones mini right there. There's Clara Cluck. I love Clara Cluck and the Clara Cluck and the cloggers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and here, dressed in green for Easter. Well, of course, they always dress like that. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't you love saying that? Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. Sneezy and sleepy. No, stop. Daisy. No, they're totally awesome, radical dudes, you know? You are so hip. <laughs> Great success story, how they came out of the sewers and into our hearts. You can see them every day over at the Disney MGM Studios theme park. I think a lot of the kids out there, too, are from Kim's Karate School. Kim's Karate School. That's right here in yeah. Orlando. I studied karate. I learned how to break my hand using only a board. You can do that, huh? <laughs> I don't believe you. They're good. <laughs> I'll bet you they're good, though. Hey, did you see that? They're good. They're awesome. See them in their in their G's? That's karate time. <laughs> I saw them over at the uh, Disney MGM Studios myself in person, and they were terrific. Well, the turtles are a great addition to the studio, and they are just the start of the fun over there. You never know who you're going to run into. Just the other day, some folks went on the backstage studio tour, and were they in for a big surprise? Let's take a look. You didn't have to order anything to win. I mean, no, really. Your house is part of the studio tour here at Disney MGM Studios. Oh, I think you're mistaken. This house isn't on any tour. Although the Garden Club stops by every fourth Tuesday. But it is. 
This is all part of the Disney MGM backlot. Why, your house isn't even real. Well, I know it isn't much, but we like it. Come with us. We'll show you. OK, I, I guess. I can't believe it. Well, it's true. The Golden Girl's house is just a set, a, a false front. But we just had it painted. Oh, it is so hard to get good help these Miss days. Miss White, Miss White. What, sweetheart? You're my favorite star. Me? A star? excitement and Minnie and Mickey Mouse when the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade continues. Yes, we Welcome are back. To the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. We're having a great time here today, and Joan, this is for you. Oh, what a romantic soul Happy you are. Easter. <laughs> we are having a great time. You know, one of the reasons she why I really love it here. <laughs> one of the real. reasons why I really love it here is that every time I come back, and I come back with my family to the Christmas and Easter parade every year, there's always something new every single year to see and do. Something amazing and exciting, and Regis is always the first one to find. He's got a nose for amazing and exciting. He's at Mickey's Starland at the Pet farm and he has something truly bizarre to show us Regis yeah Joan Allen you got to see this to believe it it's really exciting I'm here right outside of Grandma Duck's barnyard with Minnie Moo the cow and her newborn calf just about three weeks old now when you walk around Disney World you see folks with Mickey t-shirts you know Mickey hats Mickey sunglasses I mean you see it all well what's so amazing about Minnie Moo is that she was born with a Mickey design right here on her side I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at that Mickey right there. Is this unbelievable or what? Now, I'm sure you're thinking you've seen it all. But wait a minute. Mickey Moo is just the beginning. I'm going to hold up this potato. Maybe you read about it this week in the paper. Yeah, a potato in the shape of Mickey ears. Not finished yet. A cactus in the shape of Mickey's ears again. And recently, a mother and a baby pig were discovered to have Mickey ears on them, too. I mean, Mickey mania is taking over. But the biggest thing about all of this is that it's all natural. These animals were born with the Mickey markings on them. I mean, you can see for yourself. Do you believe me or not? There it is. I mean, you can visit Minnie Moo every day right here in Mickey Starland. Okay, guys, let's get back to the parade now. So let's give Joan and Alan a great big moo. Moo! All right, here they come from the Little Mermaid. Yes, everybody. Ariel. Sebastian up there dancing away. That is a great film, and my daughters have watched it so many times in our house, I think I know the dialogue by heart. I think that Cinderella must be on her way because aren't those the royal court dancers? These are the, uh, this is the royal court, yes, the royal court dancers. It's going to be a royal pain to get all that laundry done tomorrow. <laughs> There's some serious costumes here. Beautiful. And doesn't that uh, look like Major Mike? He is in this parade every single year, Major Mike. Major Mike Davis. Conducting the Walt Disney World Band. The World Band performs daily here in the Magic Kingdom at Town Square. Hey, there's Susie and Perla. Susie and Perla, that means Cinderella can't be far behind. They, of course, helped Cinderella with her first dress for the ball, the one that those mean stepsisters tore apart. And, of course, the fairy godmother here yep. came to Cinderella's rescue. Just something off the rack, the magic rack, boom, like that. <laughs> and Cinderella was dressed. And there inside the beautiful glass coach, the queen herself, we call her the queen of the Magic Kingdom because the castle that sits majestically at the end of Main Street is Cinderella's castle. Look how beautiful she is. This glass coach came from a glass pumpkin. 
Of course. <laughs> uh, how do you suppose the fairy godmother has any spare wishes she could grant today, Joan? I don't know. What would you wish for? Some Azalea girls here? No, I, I just wish she'd grant me a wish. <laughs> a little time to think about it. These are the Azalea Trail Court ladies. There are 50 of them, all high school seniors. They represent the city of Mobile and the state of Alabama. You know, 18 years ago, when the uh, Azalea Trail Maids first appeared in the Walt Disney World Easter Parade, most of these young ladies weren't even born yet. These are second-generation right. trail maids. Oh, now, there's the girl in pink. Only the girl out in front is allowed to wear pink because she is the queen. And behind her are a lot of different colors, a trail mix. A trail mix. They are all escorted again this year by volunteer officers and chief petty officers from the Naval Training Center here in Orlando. And right smack in the middle of all of them, the couple themselves, Mickey and Minnie. You know that Mickey Mouse has a tattoo of Regis Philbin <laughs> on his back. I don't know. If I you... should have known you'd do that. <laughs> Mickey, who was, of course, named Mortimer in the beginning, but changed the name to Mickey, and I'm glad they did. They are so cute. Well, lots of Easter parades so far. We've still got a lot more coming your way. That's right. And coming up next, we've got a very, very special surprise for everyone watching this Easter Sunday because a Disney Easter salute is going to be to all of our servicemen and women around the world. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Day this is. Coming to you from the Magic Kingdom in Florida, everyone is all set for a fabulous red, white, and blue yeah. finale to this Easter special parade. Now, the folks at Disney and Americans everywhere really want to say thanks and welcome home to all of our servicemen and women who are now returning from Operation Desert Storm in the Persian Gulf. And for those folks who haven't returned home yet and are watching us on the Armed Forces Network, That's know right. that we miss you and uh, we hope you're coming home real soon. That's right. And in addition to this very special Easter salute to our military friends, we've got lots of special red, white, and blue fun for you beginning in May right here in the Magic Kingdom. That's right. And you folks will be our guest for a day in the park. And what a day that will be, celebrating with a red, white, and blue spectacular, new shows, new parades, new attractions. And that'll be all summer long, so be sure to join us. But first things first, to begin our salute today, I'm very proud to introduce someone who has really become very familiar to all of us through this trying time, an outstanding general and a caring individual. Ladies and gentlemen, from Saudi Arabia, General Norman Schwarzkopf. Thank you, Joan. Thanks to all of you at Disney World. And a very special Happy Easter to all of the families and friends of the magnificent men and women who have served at Operation Desert Storm. Many of our troops have been reunited with their families and are taking part in this parade or watching from home. The rest are finishing up our mission here in the Middle East and soon all the soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen of Desert Storm will return home. These great troops have served with uncommon skill, courage, and valor but they also served with the total support of the American people. And that's what this parade signifies, as well as the many other welcome home celebrations taking place across the nation. On behalf of everyone who served in Desert Storm, we want to say thank you and Happy Easter, America. Happy Easter! so much general and now here comes the united states naval academy drum and bugle corps from annapolis maryland this corps totally made up of midshipmen consists of 31 horn players 17 percussionists and seven members of the color guard Say that 
these young men and women have proven to be America's real heroes this year. Yeah, I think everybody says welcome home to all of them. We're certainly glad to have them with us here today. This is one time when we definitely say God bless you all and God bless America. Yes, we hope you have a good one. Happy Easter to my boys, Robin and Brennan, and everyone in the Armed Forces, of course. Yeah, happy Easter, everybody. Take care, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. The Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade, brought to you by Kissimmee St. Cloud, Florida, the vacation destination in the middle of Central Florida's best attractions. Location is our biggest attraction. And Johnson & Johnson, where quality products for the American family have been a tradition for generations. Air transportation for the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade cast provided by Delta Airlines, the official airline of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Delta loves to fly and it shows. Talent accommodations provided by the many Walt Disney World Resort Hotels. There's only one thing better than visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, staying there. Disney World family to yours. This is Dick Tufo wishing everyone a very happy Easter.